and it is this God will never command you to do something that you can do and he'll never command you to do something that you can't do in other words if God says you will meditate in the word day and night then beloved you can meditate the word day and night he he will not tell you to do something that you can't do and so but then he will also never tell you to do something that you can do meaning whatever you're going to do it's going to require his strength to actually carry through why because you know even when you talk about paul uh paul said you know i i, I pray when you talk about paul's thorn and we've actually taught on that before paul's thorn was not sickness or disease you have to understand that it was the persecution it was the things that went on uh in his life that he suffered for jesus's namesake and jesus even told him that he said i've i've shown him how great things he must suffer for my namesake and take bear my name before kings well you know the only time he ever bore his the name of jesus before kings was whenever he was in chains and so that was honestly part of the plan it was what he was going through but he wasn't sick there's not one case not one time even in acts or anywhere else where it is reported that he had sickness all right now uh so you have to realize but he said uh, concerning this thing this uh, because of the many revelations which is what the word of god came to paul and paul began sharing the revelation and as he said he said because of these many revelations there was given to me an angel a messenger of satan now that word messenger of satan is the greek word angelos or angel is where we get the word angel so there was an angel of satan a messenger of satan given to paul because of the many revelations people say well yeah but it must have been god that gave it to him no 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 you have to realize he said this was given to me uh, so that i will not be exalted in other words uh, so that i will not uh, totally fulfill and be all that i could be all right now understand what i mean by that because he said uh you have to remember what jesus said in the parable of the sower he says that the thief comes immediately uh well he, he said in john 10 10 the thief comes to steal kill and destroy but in mark chapter 4 and in matthew 13 when he talks about the parable of the sower he said that the enemy comes to steal the word the word that was sown in the person's heart so paul said i have been we could say it this way paul would say it this way i've been given a messenger of satan an angel an angel has come to me to steal from me what the word that was sown in my heart the many revelations that i have received from god and the enemy comes to steal that from me to cause me to back off so that i will not go to the full measure of what i am supposed to do for god you have to understand now honestly if you take those last three minutes there and just go into it that is the biblical understanding of paul's thorn it was not a sickness it was not a disease paul was not sick uh, he had a, a tremendous healing ministry he said he labored more abundantly than all the other apostles put together uh, a sick man couldn't work harder than 11 other men that were in good shape right you have to understand that it's just so much of this that there is spiritual common sense that you have to apply to the word of god beloved paul went around healing the sick he didn't go around being sick and they took handkerchiefs and aprons off of his body to give to people that had sickness or disease or demons and they were healed and delivered you don't take claws off of the body of a sick person because you don't want to catch what they've got and you don't want to do it so it's just so much there but anyway I, I wasn't intending to get into paul's thorn today that was just a byproduct so i'm assuming that uh, there's somebody sitting there watching that really uh, needed to hear this today so if you've really been looking at paul's thorn and trying to figure it out and trying to understand then you have to understand the spirit of god just worked through me to give you that message so that you would have your answer that's how important you are to god that he would literally change this teaching just to get the truth to you and if that is you man i'd appreciate it. if you just write me a email or send it to me or something let me know hey i'm the guy i'm the person i'm the lady that you were talking about that was for me i needed to know that thank you thank you holy spirit please do that it's always good to know now